everybody, Jade Hamilton here again and today I'm going to read to you from another book by a published author, an American author by called Catherine Erskine, the, I can't speak today. Um, it's about a girl called Caitlin who is 10 years old and her brother's just died and it's made even more complicated for Caitlin because she has Asperger's Syndrome, which is a mild form of autism. I'm going to read to you today from a chapter called Michael and Manners. And I'll let Caitlin carry on with her own story now. It's loud at Little Kid Recess too, but I like these kids much better. They don't hurt as much when they run into you. They're my size or smaller. I look around and smile. I see a little boy in a red baseball cap that reminds me of Devon's red Potomac National baseball cap. And I remember seeing that boy at the memorial service for Devon because I remember that cap. He was sitting hunched over on a pew just the way he's sitting hunched over on a bench right now. I wonder why he's sitting like that. There's no teacher next to him, so I don't think he's in trouble. He's rubbing his eyes, so he's either sleepy or sad. I think those are the only two things it could be. I walk closer to see if I can figure out which it is. He looks up when I'm near and I can see his reddish, wet face. Are you sad? He nods. Why? He doesn't say anything. I look around for Josh, but then remember that he's not out at this recess. Is someone else being mean to you? He shakes his head. I put my hands in my pants pocket and rediscover my gummy worms. I pull one out and dangle it in front of him. Want this? Her name is Laurie. He looks at it for a moment, then takes it, but doesn't put it in its mouth. It's not a real worm. I tell him, it's to eat. He still doesn't eat it and I'm about to ask him to give it back if he's not going to eat it. But then he says, thank you. I don't think I can take it back now. He puts it in his mouth and part of it hangs out as he chews. Finally the worm disappears. I miss her, he says. Lorry the worm? He shakes his head. Mummy. Oh. He turns his head to look up and at me and moves closer, but doesn't intrude into my personal space. I try to look in his eyes. When I do, I'm surprised. They are like Bambi eyes. They're simple, like the eyes on the facial expressions chart, and they stay still so I can see what's inside. Do you miss your brother? He asks. The Bambi eyes do not even blink. What do you mean? He's dead, right? How do you know? Everyone says you're the weirdo whose brother is dead. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say weirdo. That's just what people say. Are you weird? I don't know. He shrugs. You're not weird to me. I think you're nice. Thank you, I say, remembering your manners. I hear someone clap. A teacher's voice calls out. OK, class. Two minutes. Then we need to line up. Thanks for the gummy worm. Very good, I say. You remembered your manners. He nods. Mummy said that's important. It is. You get stickers. His lips go down a little at the end and his head tilts like he doesn't get it. I don't think, I don't think that's why. You do get a sticker though, I tell him. From who? Your dad. He doesn't have any stickers. I have a lot. I can bring you some. Okay, thanks. You said thanks. That's two stickers now. You're welcome. See? I'm good at your manners too. He giggles. 
they're not my manners. I know, they're your manners. What? His bandy eyes look smiley, but also a little something else. Maybe confused? Everyone has learned your manners, I explain. You're silly, he giggles some more. Why are you laughing? Because they're everyone's manners. My manners are when you, I say please and thank you. Your manners are when you say please and thank you. I look at the person. All the time I thought I was learning your manners, when really I was learning my manners. But then everyone's manners are the same. Now you get it. Oh, thank you. You're very helpful. I think it'll be easier to learn your manners. I mean, my manners now. But I know they belong to me and I'm not trying to learn everybody else's. The bell rings and the boy stands up and looks at me with his bambi eyes. A teacher's voice calls out and he turns and starts walking toward it. But then turns around again. What's your name? Caitlin Ann Smith. Oh, can I just call you Caitlin? Only if you don't shout it. I hate it when people shout my name. He nods. Okay, my name's Michael. I hold my right hand up and close and open it three times. His mouth corners go up and his cheeks get puffy and his bandy eyes smile. He has cute little dimples and blonde wavy hair that drops down below his cap. He holds his left hand up and opens it and closes it several times back to me. I wonder if this means I have a friend.